All right, so here's me going into a very risky trade right now. Just hopped into it like that. As soon as I started to see the price action, I'm in a $42,000 trade right now. Yeah, I literally just jumped into it as soon as I saw the price action. Just flip on a dime. Okay, it's probably it's probably not going to be this one, but the next one, it's going to come down, retrace to maybe 34 at most, and then it's going to probably hit around 77 range. I believe that this is the five Elliott waves coming down already, despite how ugly that looks. This is most likely the case right here. Okay, this is a very strong contender. Now, if that were the case right there, then we're looking at a retracement to about 59. Okay. Okay, so 59. It already hit the 382 Fib region right here. So if we're talking about 59, yeah, right around there to 59, I'm looking at like a tiny little profit there. 1% profit, $400, 59, about $400. Let's just 585 here. Okay, let's just see what we can do here, 585. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? Okay. So this is what we're doing right now. Okay, let me elaborate. What we're doing is we're taking our fib right now at the most aggressive level possible because I'm kind of being aggressive with this approach now considering how far I've seen it fall and how much I should have anticipated it. Okay, there you go. So it fell around to the 382 level and on a five minute chart, we're counting one, two, three, four, five right there. So we're expecting a bounce to a 382 fib region. That's how I'm going to play it right here, okay? I don't care about the 236. I just want it on this one here, just to have it nice and clean. There we go. So that's where I'm anticipating it could possibly go. This needs to save the... It needs to save it on trading view, or on Bitfinex rather. But it never saves it, right? You always have to redo it. But sometimes you only want specific numbers on there to not mess up the chart. There we go. It's already going up to 14.5. Okay. See mine is right at the 382 fib level. Right? 382 fib level. I'm right at the I'm literally right there at the 585. 585. That was gonna be a really quick trade, guys. Super quick trade. Come on, fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Oh, I did I got cut off. Yes. That was a super quick trade, guys. That was for our... Oh, wow, I still have a lot more to go. I forgot. Um, all right, I still got a lot more to go. 16, sorry, 14.6 for um, four. Okay, let's sell the rest right here. I'm right here. I forgot, I only put inputted it a little bit. Six five five, three three five. Okay, let's do this now. Okay. Oh wow, someone's really putting pressure to go down. Lots of pressure to go down. I can't compete with the uh, the price right now. Okay, let's go five six six here. Can anybody cut me off? No, I don't have enough. I need to market execute this before it gets bad. There we go. All right, good trades. That was good. I didn't quite catch that wick end right there, but this trade was, it literally went on for four minutes. It was a four minute trade, guys, okay? Four minute trade for $490, and yeah, pretty good trade. Not bad. Hey guys, how's it going? So we've been talking about this rising bearish wedge, right? Where I've been counting on a one minute time frame because it took over the span of, you know, 35 minutes there. So it came down one, two, three, four, and five, like that coming down, right? And on this one here, it actually got a higher low on the RSI. And on the three minute chart, it was something very similar as well. I thought that this was gonna be the upwards histogram tick, and I was right about that. And because I was right about that, I got into a four minute trade. 4.22 entered, 4.26 closed for a $490 profit. It was a $4,000 position for a 1.2% gain. Awesome trade.